discuss you the review of the new UT1 Android TV box. It's, uh, it's a new Android uh, multimedia player uh, running Android 4, Android 4.2 Jelly Bean. It's got Wi-Fi, it's got USB, it's got uh, Ethernet LAN, it's got uh, audio out, it's got optical audio out, it's got composite video out, it's got uh, standard phono audio out, um, supports web cameras, keyboards, mice, USB mouse, external hard drives via USB. It's got a quad-core RK3188 CPU and it can run up to 1.8 gigahertz the CPU is rated at and we're gonna we're gonna check it out so we'll see what it's actually running at and the GPU is a quad core Mali 400 which runs up to uh, 533 megahertz it's the factory uh, set uh, max speed for the, for the GPU it supports 1080p full HD with ease this is 1920 by 1080 and it's got two gigabytes of RAM 8 gigabyte NAND flash storage ROM and it's got uh, a micro SD card slot that supports 32 gigabyte uh, TF cards uh, it's got two USB 2 slots and uh, one micro USB slot for OTG and uh, we're going to check out the unit and unbox it and, um, and see what else it's got let's see what's inside the box first Yugo's UT1. Let's see. Let's see. Let's see. Let's ease it out of the box. Okay, we've got a user manual. Color. And it's, it's in English. It's an English user manual. Yeah, it looks pretty good. It's got all the details for the remote control and so on. The remote control. I'm going to use that in our review. See what type of batteries it takes. Two AA, ba AAA batteries. I'll some of those. We'll put those in, in a moment. Okay, we've got a 5 volt supply. Yeah, 5 volt 2 amp supply. The power connector. Let's check out the physical build quality as well. Oh, this is nice. Oh wow, that's very Apple-like. In fact, that's got a, a nicer edge than a lot of the Apple products, in fact. In fact, it, to be honest, it's identical to, to a new Apple laptop. The edging on the aluminium, the brushed aluminium is nice. You've got a remote control infrared pickup there, by the looks of it. You've got a power light. you got... SD card slot, not a TF card slot, it's an SD card slot, so we could use a, a TF adapter on that. Uh, two USBs, we've got dual antennas. There we go, just put those around the back room like that. We've got a on off, we've got LAN, we've got a, a reset switch, we've got a optical laser audio out, we've got HDMI, we've got a combined audio video uh, 3.5 mil jack plug that will carry composite video and left and right audio just for a basic connection but obviously it's better to use the HDMI and the optical then we've got OTG and we've also got a 5 volt DC in okay now for, for this demonstration we're gonna we're going to link up the Yugo's UT1 straight to a Yamaha Natural Sound DTS home cinema amp via the optical audio output and, um, and I'm also going to connect it via a LAN, LAN Ethernet cable and it also works with Wi-Fi and I will demonstrate it with Wi-Fi later but for this test we're going to use those two types and we're going to show you the, the connections now. Okay so there's your optical audio cable we're going to be using. Ethernet LAN cables going straight to a hub in the DSL, HDMI cable as we know and I'm also going to be using a couple of other objects as well which I'll show you. Okay so the supplemental items I'm going to be using for this demonstration of the Yugo's UT1 is uh, a SanDisk 
SD card adapter with a, a class 10 SanDisk 16 gigabyte extreme uh, TF card like so and that's gonna go straight in to the SD card slot hopefully you're gonna put that into the UT1 like so it goes in so far halfway and then it just sits in there and then that's in okay and now the other item we'll use is uh, a SanDisk Extreme USB 3 16 gigabyte uh, flash flash card we can just put that straight into the USB host port Go straight in okay oh, a couple of other items I will use later I'll first use the remote control that comes with the unit but I will be using a Logitech unified transceiver with the Logitech keyboard and mouse okay so in the demo we'll use that possibly for gaming and web browsing and stuff but we'll mostly be checking out the, the remote control this one here so uh, I'm gonna plug all of those in and uh, put some batteries in the remote and uh, continue the video yeah. Ethernet in like so optical audio output in HDMI then all that's left to plug in is the power connector and we're set let's tidy those back Thank you.